Hi, I'm David from the community engineering team at Magento. Today I will show you how to keep your GitHub fork up to date. For this, I will assume you already have a fork of the Magento 2 repository and that this fork is cloned to a local directory. Once you are in this directory, you can run git remote minus V and this will show you that there is one remote called origin and that it is set up with your fork for fetch and push operations. To get the latest published version of the Magento main repository, we will need a second remote. We can do this with the git remote add command, specifying a name, in this case upstream, and the path to the Magento remote. Once completing this, you can run git remote minus V again, and it will show you two remotes have been set up, the first for your fork and the second for Magento. To get the latest changes from the new remote, we need to call git fetch minus AP upstream. For the first time of calling this command, it could run for some time. I will show you two options for keeping your fork up to date. The first to do with merging the upstream into your branches and the second to create your branches tracking the upstream. To merge the latest versions into your branches, we first need to check out a branch. For this example, we will use 2.2 develop. To check out, we call git checkout 2.2 develop. Then to merge, we can call git merge upstream slash 2.2 develop. This should fast forward your branch to match the most recent version of 2.2 develop. Once this is done, you can run git push origin 2.2 develop to update your fork with the latest version of 2.2 develop. In the second example, I will show you how to create tracking branches. To create a tracking branch, you can use the command git checkout minus b 2.3 develop upstream slash 2.3 develop. This will create a branch locally for 2.3 develop that is set up to track the upstream 2.3 develop branch. If you now run git branch minus vv, you will see that this branch is marked with the upstream branch. To keep this branch up to date, you will run git pull, and if there are any updates, they will be applied. Once again, you can run git push origin 2.3 develop to update your fork. This is how to keep your branches up to date with the Magento 2 repository. Both versions work well, and I would suggest that it is a personal choice as to which one you choose. Happy contributing, and thank you for listening.